Carly, do you know what the word osmosis means? No. How, how could you find out? Probably in a dictionary or an encyclopedia. You got them both? Yep. Okay. It's spelled O-S-M-O-S-I-S, -S -S, osmosis. Okay. And the reason I want you to uh, find out what it means is because you're going to be doing some experiments with uh -huh. osmosis. One of the things you're going to do is pour vinegar over eggs. Go ahead, try it. Okay. There's little bubbles coming off They're of it. Little tiny bubbles. That's because the vinegar is reacting with the calcium in the egg and eventually will dissolve the, the shell away and you won't have a, you'll have a shellless egg. No way, it'll fall apart. No, it won't because inside there's a little membrane. It'll hold it all together. And what you're going to do then is put the eggs after you've taken the shells off in salt water, uh -huh. which, which is used with distilled water. And of okay. course, you're gonna need a whole bunch of eggs. Uh -huh. And you, I think, will be surprised to find that the eggs, or some of them at least, will get bigger. Bigger? Yeah. Whoa. Okay. It's kind of a fun experiment. So here are all the instructions. Okay. okay. And then you put all the stuff on here and go ahead and take it home, okay? Okay. Then I want you to give me a full report on what happened when you experimented with osmosis. Okay, thank you. You're welcome. Osmosis is a te the tendency of a fluid of lower concentration. Those are the red marbles over here. Pass through a semi-permeable membrane. That's this plastic thing with the holes in the bottom through which the red balls can go through, but the white ones can't. Into a solution of higher concentration. That's the white balls on this side. So when these vibrate around as they would naturally, the water can only go through that way, right? Right. To make that less dense. Now what's that got to do with your eggs? Well, first of all, I put my eggs in vinegar to dissolve my shells, mm -hmm. and they did. And then I put these ones in distilled and salt, and these ones in distilled. Okay. This is after two days, this is after four days, mm -hmm. and this was after six days. Okay, now what happened? After six days, the ones in distilled and salt got smaller, and the ones in distilled got bigger. Why? Well, the stuff, well, the thing inside this egg mm -hmm. is more dense than the stuff that was outside. Distilled water. Right. right. And so, so what happened? the distilled water would go in to make it bigger. Right. Whereas with this, the stuff that was outside distilled in salt mm -hmm. is more dense, so the stuff inside would come out to right. make it smaller. To make it smaller, yeah. Right. Now what would happen if you went eight days, 10 days, 12, and so forth, and kept going? These ones would get smaller, and these mm -hmm. ones would get bigger. Now why do you think I wanted you to do this experiment with osmosis? What did well, you find out when you read about it? Well, osmosis sort of helps the cells to pass liquid to each other. Yeah, cells. You right. mean the, including cells inside you, right? Right. Yeah, that's in fact this is one of the methods whereby food goes into your cells and okay. is distributed throughout your body. A very important concept, osmosis, which is what? Osmosis is the tendency of a liquid of a lower concentration to pass through a semi-permeable membrane into a liquid of higher concentration. Very good indeed.